Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a, another love reading. We're going to be looking at your person's energies towards you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? And then we'll look at what they're feeling, thinking about you, what their real intentions are towards you and potential actions in the future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, Gemini. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, Gemini, let's see. Spirits, angels, spirits, universal energy. Messages for Gemini, please. Regarding love, messages for Gemini, please. Oops. All right, Gemini, let's start with your feelings first. What are you thinking or feeling about this person when it comes to this connection? What are you thinking or feeling about this situation for Gemini? Okay, we got let go of control issues for you here. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, what about Gemini's person? What are they thinking or feeling at this? Oh, it's too much. What about Gemini's person? What are they thinking or feeling at this time, Spirit? I want this one. Forgiving and learning. Oh, wow. Maybe your person needs to forgive or it needs forgiveness from you, Gemini. Bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So some sort of manifestation happening here between you and this person. So let's let's get into this. Let's get into this. For Gemini. Gemini, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. So keep that in mind. Not every reading will resonate 100% and that's okay. Check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart. So your rising, your moon, your Venus, in case your sun doesn't resonate completely. Tell me about Gemini. Spirit, tell me about Gemini. Oh, we got three. I thought, whoa, four. Okay. Wow. I only wanted two. Okay. <laughs> Gemini, you have a lot to say. Okay, we have Knight of Coin, Reverse, Seven of Cups. I feel like there's been a lot of, um, you've been waiting for an offer a really long time. You've been waiting for some sort of opportunity a really long time. And maybe this was a, a situation where there was no commitment, uh, but a lot of passion. Uh, maybe someone isn't able to commit to you right now for some reason. Maybe they're not able to make you this offer for some reason. But you want a new beginning with this person. I feel like you still have a special place in your heart for this person. Tell me about Gemini's person spirit. Now, Gemini, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other. But feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. The energies can be vice versa. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person. Oof. Ace of Cups reverse, Two of Cups reverse. Complete heartbreak here over what, yeah, and then I have the Three of Swords. Your person's not dealing well with this situation, um, Gemini. Yeah, and it's like they've been holding this back from you with the High Priestess Reverse. They have to, they can't keep this to themselves any longer. I feel like they've been holding back because of fear. Um, but they've been really heartbroken about whatever separation has taken place here between you and them. Um, or whatever disconnect is going on right now in your relationship. Okay, let me use the Stellar Energy Oracle deck to see what's going on. What are the mutual energies here? What do we need to know, Spirit, regarding this connection between Gemini and this other person? What do we need to know? 
new beginnings. Wow, beginnings, letting go, new day. You are ready for a fresh start. Can I get one more please for Gemini? Mutual energies here. You both want a new beginning. You both want a fresh start with each other, Gemini. Wow, love letter. Message, truth, confession. A message is on its way. Interesting. I have looking inward at the bottom, introspection, isolation, thinking. You're deep in thought, looking inward and seeking answers. So I feel like whoever is sending a message has been thinking really hard about what they want to say, how they want to say something. You know, I was fully prepared to clarify these energies, but I really, I feel like this is very clear. Let me clarify this high priestess here. So let me clarify the high priestess reverse. What is coming to light? What does this person want to tell you? What's the high priestess reversed about? the high priestess reversed about for Gemini. Wow. Look what just flew out of the deck. The Knight of Cups. Again, this could be someone asking for an apology or making you an offer here, expressing how they truly feel. This love letter, definitely the Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this high priestess reverse, please, for Gemini. Wow, Page of Swords. This is seriously like, let's talk. And look what's at the bottom. The lovers, there you are, Gemini. Let's talk about us. I wanna talk about us, about what happened between us. Knight of Coin Reverse, Seven of Coin. I feel like you've been waiting, again, I just get the sense you've been waiting for a long time, Gemini. Like this is you just waiting around, never truly letting this go when it really gets down comes down to it almost like wishing someone would return to you or something or you would have that one conversation you want to have with this person what do you need to know i'm gonna use my <clears throat> my homemade oracle deck which i'm working on making a real one like a physical deck it's in the works but right now just gonna use my little homemade deck here this is what you need to know about how you, about your person <clears throat> I just kind of like lost my voice there I feel like this person doesn't even know how to begin talking to you about this for Gemini what is okay I'll take that first one I choose you what, do, what does Gemini need to know spirit about this connection what does Gemini need to know about this connection or this person okay so i'm just gonna pick the first one again because i'm getting a lot of cards here i made the wrong choice i get one more it's like a new choice is being made here a new choice a new start once again i'm just gonna take the top one <laughs> you are always on my mind okay it's been a long time since I've seen you, not now. I screwed up, okay. I'm not gonna take those, but I wanted to read them just in case, you know, anything there popped up. I made the wrong choice, I choose you, you're always on my mind. This person's thinking about you, Gemini. So let's get in here a little. I'm trying to see if I can make some room. <laughs> it's kind of hard when I only have a limited space. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can see these, okay. So let me put these out then, because I want these too. If you're interesting, interested in this deck, the Stellar Energy Oracle deck, um, this is available in my shop now if you want to check that out. Okay, so let's go into the challenges or the blockages here. What's blocking this connection? Any hidden factors we need to know that are keeping you apart? Or keeping this connection from flourishing for Gemini. 
what are the challenges or the blockages or hidden factors to it? What's challenging or blocking this connection between Gemini and this other person? Challenging or blocking this connection. Now, just keep in mind, this will not resonate with everyone. And if you're enjoying the readings, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And it's a free way to support the channel. Thank you to everyone who's already done that. I really appreciate it. Two of Swords reverse. Okay. Either someone is has not made a certain dis, like decision here. Like they're still hesitating, undecided, refusing to make a decision or a decision has already been made. We'll clarify. King of Wands reverse. What's challenging or blocking this connection? I feel like this King of Wands wants something and it's blocked, you know? They're motivated, but they're blocked. Page of Swords. Communication is a challenge here. So maybe you haven't been talking to this person or the communication that is taking place. It's not like the best communication. Tell me about this Two of Swords reverse why is the two of swords reverse a challenge or a block or a hidden factor here oh okay high priestess came up upright so this is something your person is currently experiencing they're they're keeping something to themselves and I feel like they're doing this so that they can avoid a tower here. They're keeping a secret. There's a secret here. Tell me more about the Two of Swords reverse. Maybe they're keeping this secret that they made the wrong choice or that they choose you. Because this is about a choice. About a decision here. Tell me more about the Two of Swords reverse, please. Seven of Cups reverse. We're getting kind of the same messages, but kind of uh, flipped. I'm not going to take these, but I want to show you what they are because I've gotten comments that people want to see these. Two of Cups, Eight of Cups reversed. A return. And I have the Hermit at the bottom. That's that looking inward card. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Pisces, an air sign or a fire sign here. Tell me about the Two of Swords reversed. One more, please. Oh, my card, my, my deck is flipped. <laughs> Tell me more about... Oh, oh no. Oh no, <laughs> I think I flipped my deck without realizing. <laughs> Stand by, Gemini. We're having technical difficulties, but we'll get right back into it once I get myself together here. That's what happens when I try to show my people cards and stuff. See, it's not meant to happen. <laughs> we'll see, let's see. Anything else here I'm missing? Okay. All right. All right. Back to regular schedule programming. Two of Swords Reverse. One more, please. Can I get one more? No. Can I get one more, please? For Gemini. I don't know why I'm stuck on this. I feel like this is very important. Yeah. Judgment. Judgment. This is about a second chance. Someone is still deciding about this new opportunity, this a rebirth. I feel like they're keeping to themselves this whole uh, hang up they have about a choice they've made. This is blocking this connection. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse. Magician reverse. I'm telling you, this King of Wands hasn't been able to do what they want to do. Which is strange that I thought that because the King of Wands reverse doesn't really mean that. The Empress. So they're looking for, for growth, expansion, to manifest something here. Wow, we got the Empress and the Emperor at the bottom. They want you back. Like, they want this connection again. They want this, but they can't have it. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Gemini, please. 
Tower Reverse. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Justice. Wow, we're getting major arcanas. A lot of major arcanas here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Libra uh, energy with the Justice card. It's like this message or conversation is meant to rebalance a situation. Wow, and more major arcana, the Strength card. And I'm going to take this one too. What's this? King of Coin. Queen of Swords at the bottom. There you are, Gemini. This King of Coin wants you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Leo energy, so many major arcanas. These are huge shifts in energy, Gemini. I feel like this Page of Swords, it's, it's, it's a message that someone I feel hasn't communicated because they're too busy avoiding a tower. But all they're thinking about is how to bring things into balance, how to have the courage to do what needs to be done. You know, I feel like this person, they could be already in some sort of a commitment because the king of coin to me as a reader, they're usually married. Um, it does not have to be. It could be that your person is just someone who is very successful, stable, and, you know, ex is exhibiting these energies of the king of coin. But I feel like this person, you know, I don't think that they can keep hiding this. Like this secret with a high priestess, it cannot continue for your person. I feel like this situation is coming to a head for your person. And it's like driving them nuts. <laughs> like that's this, you are always on my mind, literally, that you, you're always on their mind. You cannot let them rest, Gemini. So let's look at the potential outcome here. So I'm going to choose some cards for the potential outcome. Let's see, what's the potential outcome here, Spirit? I think I'm gonna pull some oracle cards for this as well what's the potential outcome spirit for this connection between gemini and this other person potential outcome please wow the sun some of you are definitely uh dealing with a leo six of cups oh my goodness we have the sun Six of Cups. There could be children involved here. Between you or someone here might have children, does not have to be. This could be somebody from your past or someone you have a sweet memories with. Like it doesn't have to be somebody that you've dated. Just somebody that, somebody that you know or a past life connection. What else, Spirit? What else can you tell me about the potential outcome here for Gemini? Oh. Oh, King of Wands upright. So the King of Wands is going to go. Oh, okay. I cannot wait to dig into this. Let me see. We can get actually I'll pick these cards. What else can you tell us, Spirit, about the potential outcome of this connection? What else can you tell us about the potential outcome of this connection? What else can you tell us about the potential outcome here in love? Gemini, this was such an awesome reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this format. I really love the idea of like getting the 411 on your person. <laughs> Thought it would be fun. Uh, let me know if you are enjoying these types of readings. And if you are, then hit the like button. Um, and then I'll keep doing these types of readings. One more, please. Magician in the mirror. Definitely, we keep, you know... This is that calling in your soulmate energy. This is something you've manifested that's coming your way, Gemini. Either you have manifested this or your person has manifested this. And bottom of the deck, I have action. Someone here is ready to take action. That's that king of wands, for sure. You know, this is something I feel like there's going to be clarity. And, you know, I don't think it's a coincidence that I have a sun in this new beginnings card and I have the sun here. Plus, there's kind of like a sun in the back of this card of the Six of Cups. 
Um, and there's even a sun coming out here as well in the action card. So I feel that the sun's a very po powerful element. Um, I think the sun for me signifies radiance, success. Um, it is something to celebrate, especially this sun card in the tarot. Uh, very powerful. The sun is what breathes life, you know? So I think, you know, we wouldn't survive without the sun. It's that's how powerful the sun is. And I feel like this is more of a confirmation about this being a new beginning, a new dawn in this connection. I feel like this is a very special connection with the six of cups, like a soulmate type of connection. We do have calling in your soulmate at the bottom here. Um, I feel like this is a very strong magnetic connection. And, and I feel like this is something that Gemini, you need to just let happen naturally. Um, maybe you've had stresses or worries or doubts about this. Um, you know, will you manifest this connection? Do they feel the same way? Will they choose you in the end? I feel like this is just confirmation that there is a manifestation happening here. And, you know, 